Hey everyone, welcome back to Forensic Education. I'm Sergeant Mike McCutcheon. Today I have something I'm excited to show you. One of the problems we have when we're processing our crime scene is proper documentation. Um, and the reason for that is two. One, most of the time people aren't familiar with their cameras and they don't take great photographs. And when we're trying to take pictures of curved surfaces and we're trying to map out a bunch of different either stains or bullet holes or uh, stab wounds or something like that, they get all mixed up, they all look the same, and it's very difficult to figure out which one's which. So a friend of mine came up with this uh, system called the KISS system. And what it does is it's a color-coded for size scales that can go around different uh, wounds or bullet holes. I'm going to show you uh, also use them for fingerprints. They're great for fingerprints. And what it does is the scale, it has a nice scale on here, so it already includes it. But the biggest thing about it is that since they're round, they'll actually curve around the, uh, the wound. So I'm going to use Mrs. Ed here and I'm going to show you um, how we're going to do that. Another thing that I would suggest is when you're taking pictures of, I'm going to show you uh, different stab wounds or um, uh, any type of bruising, things like that, I would suggest using a ring flash. So a ring flash is a, a flash that goes around the, the front of your camera and that way when you're taking a close-up of, I'm going to show you the fingerprints or wounds or if you're uh, documenting your, your bullet holes, it's going to give you a nice even flash around that and so you don't have that either uh, on one side being really illuminated and the other not. This works really, really great. They're fairly inexpensive, but they work amazing. So high, high recommend getting a, a ring flash for this. So let's get started. So uh, I have her set up and I'm going to show you how we're going to map this out. I've done other videos on how to map a crime scene and we put our tape uh, in, uh, down and across and then we have our sections. Well we need to do the same with the body. One of the things that uh, the KISS system has is it'll actually show you it has stickers of the body position. If you're taking a close-up of a dead body and you have those different stab wounds you, you have to know the position that you're taking it whether the stab wound is horizontal or vertical you want to be able to uh, understand where they are in the body so this actually has stickers on here where it, you can show the position of the body it'll tell you left or right and then it'll give you numerous um, stickers of back chest knee hip foot heel so when you're taking injury photographs or we're going to, as I'm going to show you, you're able to actually capture that. It's huge, huge, huge. So let's check it out. So we're going to go over to her. So what I have is I marked her up here with a couple of different wounds on her body. We're going to pretend that she is laying down and I'm going to take a picture of all of the different wounds that she has and I want to document each one. So the first thing I'm going to do, let's see, is I'm going to use my sticker here for a line to the body so she's staying upright. So I'm actually going to put this sticker on to show that she's upright in this situation. Now I told you that the the system is color coded and the reason why it's color coded is because even if your sticker is out of focus or sorry your picture is out of focus you're going to be able to know about the approximate size because of the color that you used now you can see here in the curve of her back using a round sticker it gave me the exact measurements it pushed down into the curve of the back if you are using a flat scale it's not going to be able to do that. It's going to stay up here and you're going to have that space and you're not going to get an accurate measurement. This measures all size of the, um, of the wound. I'm also going to take this little sticker here and we could put that to show that that's her back. We 
have the right, we have left. So now uh, as I'm taking the whole shot here, I have all of the measurements. So one of the other stickers on I'm going to demonstrate is their rulers. So KISS also has a ruler system. Same thing, they're color coordinated, so you know the, the length just by the color. They're again going to have the, um, the body stickers and the descriptor stickers. They're still going to have those. But what's nice about these again is that since it's not a, a, um, a flat, solid measurement, you're going to be able to put that on there. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use, let's see, we're going to measure, we'll tear it right here. So I'm going to measure this long wound here, and so I can put that on, and again you can see that there's no uh, problem with that curve of the back because it's curving right down. Now one of the other things we have to do is if we're documenting, now we've had scenes where you have a body that has 40 stab wounds and you want to be able to document all of those stab wounds. Just how we would put tents for um, number tense or letter tense around our evidence, we're going to do the same with her back or with her body. So there's some larger ones here and then there's uh, a little smaller. We're going to use the, the smaller ones. These also have a scale on them, but now we can actually number, we can actually number all of our wounds. So I'm just going to do a couple of them here. So I have one, two, we can do this one as three, four, and so on. So now we have all of the different areas. If we had a, I'm going to spin her around. If we wanted to see a bruise here on the arm, I can use a uh, let's use a larger sticker. And now again, since it's uh, curved, we're going to be able to put that right around her bruise. We would be able to come in nice with our, our, our nice camera, uh, with the ring flash, light that up, and take a beautiful photograph of it. So that's how we're going to document on the body. You have your small stickers, you have your uh, color-coded circles that you can use. These things are great. They have the centimeters already on them. They're really fantastic. What also you can do with these is they have a system for bullet imperfections, and I use them for uh, fingerprints as well. It's going to be the exact same uh, method. So I have my, my window here that I'm going to put a couple prints on and then I put a couple black marks on it to show that it is, uh, to pretend that those are uh, bullet wounds. So let's, let me just develop these real quick. I'm going to throw my gloves on. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a little powder puff, give it a blast. That should give me a couple of prints. And so I'm going to, so I'm going to dust uh, my window. Oh, baby, those are beautiful. Ooh, mama. Okay, so now that I have my fingerprints on my window, I'm going to go back to the same stickers that I used previously. I used these stickers on her. I'm just going to use the same one so that I don't uh, uh, use them all up. But you could, so I'm not going to do the, the, the uh, bullet imperfections right now. Right now I'm just going to do, and it'll be tough to see, but there are fingerprints. And all these different areas on my screen. So I'm mapping out the different areas of the fingerprints.
what you can also do is you can put a measurement around the fingerprint and it gives you a section here where you could number it how you wish. So if you wanted fingerprint one or, or what have you, it has the measurement for you. You need your scale. The same for, I'm going to put one around this bullet, uh, bullet hole here. Same thing. I have it. You can mark it with your evidence number and it's all mapped out. They have different, different sizes. So this bullet in perfection here is longer, no problem. So that's coming in at a sharper angle. Same thing, I can put it here and I can have it all mapped out on here. So whether it's fingerprints, uh, these fingerprints, or it's a bullet imperfection or a bullet hole, you go ahead and put those stickers on and you're going to be good to go. It's really that simple. Uh, we take terrible photographs and if I took 10 photographs, 20, 30 photographs of 30 different stab wounds on a body, you're not going to be able to differentiate one stab wound from another. Think of it as when uh, the long term. If you had this and you had to go to court and you had that picture of all your color coordinated wounds on the body and uh, it, it looks really nice as it, you have it all marked out there, that's going to be a really strong piece of evidence to show a jury. It's very powerful. There's no problem with size or even if you are a terrible photographer, if it's out of focus, you can still see the approximate size of all of those wounds, all of the um, bullet imperfections just by using the, the, the size color. So that makes a huge difference. So if you take a terrible photograph, the defense attorney can't argue that the, the wound is too big or too small. Um, and there's zero problem with uh, angling the camera as far as how big that wound is going to be. Like I said, if it's a flat ruler on a curved surface, it's not going to give you an accurate portrayal of how big that wound is. So that's what I have. You can go to uh, kisssystem.com, kisssystem.com. Uh, if you want to order these, they are trademarked. You're, you're not able to get them anywhere else, but kisssystem.com. If you want to check out my videos, obviously subscribe, but you can go to forensiceducation.net. You'll be able to find me there. Check out my videos and such. And that's all I have. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope these work out for you. Thanks for watching.